So we just look out, get the crosshairs on the water, and use your hot, hot key, and you know ERF whatever you have set, and you'll drink, drink until it is full, and then we'll also, we'll also want to eat, and so that'll be a matter of get some of your apples in your hot bar. Okay. And then if you use your mouse wheel, you'll scroll through your hot bar, or you can just choose whichever the number is: one, two, three, four, five, from left to right. And once you've got your apples in your hand, just hold your right mouse button. Okay. Yep. And that'll get us taken care of food-wise. All right, good deal. And then back to your tool. We've got another stone area over here, it looks like. Or is this the same one that we just came from? I don't know. Nope, this is a different one. Don't see any iron down on that side of it. That's there scary. is some iron down there. Yeah, it's a, it's a ways down. All right. So here, we have a nice patch of coal. Okay. Is that what the we, black is? Yep. That's what the black is. That is coal. Now, even though you see a shovel when, when you enter the game, there is no shovel in the game. We use our, our little pick for everything. Now, there is a tunnel underneath here, so you're going to want to watch yourself just in case. We don't we don't want to drop through and die. Okay. All right, awesome. Okay. But the coal is important. I'm sure it is. Coal is always important. All right, let's hop up out of here. And like I say, I, I see some stone faces over here near the edge of this forest. And all right, here we have another excellent friend of ours in the game, the humble tomato. Ah. Go ahead and harvest those. Now, anytime you see coniferous trees like that, there's a chance of bears. And the bears can be pretty tough. Okay. All right, no exposed iron on this rock face. But right over here, we have some tungsten ore. Tungsten? Yeah, tungsten is important. It is hard to come by. And so having this is definitely a boon. We just got very lucky. Tungsten is used in the production of electric lights as well as some of the more advanced tools like um, uh, a mining drill and things like that. There's a couple of dead animals at the bottom of this water. Yep. <laughs> yep, careful or you will join them. I will, since I know how to do it quickly, I'll come down and I'll, I'll get their goodies. Here's a little bit of bacon off Mr. Piggy and a hide off of the goat. There we go. Line up out of the water. All right. Let's follow this around to the left. We don't want to push too high up into those pine trees because, like I say, right now we are definitely not in the shape to take on bears. Okay. I'm really kind of surprised we haven't found any iron yet. Usually it's the first thing you find, and it's all these other things that are so hard to come by. And we've got dead more cat. dead animals. Wow. <laughs> Well, I will get their goodies. So there's a couple of pieces of beef and a hide. There's a sheep over here dead. Yep. Come on. There's some wool and a hide. I Don't need to happen. get out of here in a hurry before I join them. What the hell happened? They just fall in? Yeah, they get in and they can't get out again. And that's that's to our that's to our good fortune. There's a goat down there. Yeah. And that is a very deep shaft. Wow. But no iron. 
Let's try this over here. Oh, and tater. I'll grab that. Okay. Potatoes give a lot of healing, and tomatoes give a lot of water. So you want to grab those tomatoes. Okay. We can just manage to come up with the iron we need. We can find a spot, dig in, and get properly started here. Cool. Wow, all the caves are just like shafts straight down. Jeez. Yeah. Push across to this side. There's some apples. Grab those. Uh, well, we may need to get it up out of this valley in order to find some exposed iron. Okay. We can always mine for iron. I mean, we just dig right in and start mining. Okay, there is a black bear up on top of that hill. I see right him. straight up there. You see him? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're not going that way. And there's another one right up the hill right up there. So let's move this way. We need to get away from them in a hurry. So we're finding lots and lots of watering holes, but no iron. Ah, okay, we've got a good tall cliff face up over here. So we should have a real good possibility of iron okay up over here more apples those all right we've got a uh, exposed rock section over here and then we've got a real tall mountain <coughs> right over there so one way or another we should come up with some iron here real soon okay and see what we got over here Oh, yeah, this is nice. A lot of animals down there. Yep. More copper. All right. Yep, that is copper, and there's iron down on this end of it. There's a little, little patch of iron right there. Let's, uh, before we cut our way down there and try to deal with all that, let's check the cliff face for iron, and we need to cut some wood because we're going to end up being down there at night, so would be good to get some wood in our pockets. Okay. Because this cliff face is ideal for us to carve into and get our first spot. I think that's copper up there on the mountainside. Yep. <coughs> Looks like it. No, oh, bunny rabbit. I just wanted to show you, we can go up some really, really steep inclines. Yeah, that's copper. And as long as you're careful going back down again, you can you can come up some some pretty steep stuff in this game. That's cool. Is that copper too? Wow, we have got just a glut of copper, but sure are shy on the iron. <laughs> but we do have a little bit of coal over here. Yeah, I see. And that's important. Okay, that is a wild boar right down there by that moose. Something tells me neither one of those you want to deal with. Well, as long as we don't harass the moose, you can walk right up to them, and they're perfectly copacetic. The wild boar, they will come for you. They they do not make any bones about getting up in your business, So, okay. and they fight hard, so we want to avoid him if we can, so we'll have to ignore that coal for now. we got plenty. Okay. But I am just not seeing any exposed iron along here, which is really a big surprise. Well, let's just work our way along the rock face here a little bit farther. See if we spot any. What's it look like? Kind of rusty? It looks like the cop copper, but it's got horizontal bands in it, and it's not as shiny. Okay. Oh. It... Oh, we got another... Darn, we got another board down there. But down... Here we've got two good patches of coal. We've got iron directly across, and we've got some aluminum right down here. Aluminum? Aluminium. Yep, right aluminum. here. This That's right here is aluminum, yep. Now, there was only a little bit there. If we should get attacked by an animal... Get your crosshairs on the animal and just hold down your left mouse button. Don't click it. Just hold it, and we'll be whacking on him. We've okay. got a bear down over there. We've got 
uh, bore down over here. We've got more aluminum right here. Don't get too close to that bore. But if he comes at you, just get your crosshairs on him and hold down that mouse button and just keep hitting him until he goes down. And don't cut the aluminum out from under my feet because oh. the fall will kill me. There's still some at your feet, actually. Yep. Basically, once I get this up here, I'll shift over. <coughs> that boar is just hanging out. Yep. But aluminum is usually kind of hard to come by, so w w it's weird because we've lucked into all the difficult to find <laughs> stuff. But not the common. But not the common, yep. Well, there is what we need cross but the board is also a cross so hmm. let's uh, see if we can manage to circle around this way or copper but we're gonna go right up the side here just jump if you don't start climbing. Base part to jump. There we go. And we're going to see if we can circle across and avoid him. Okay. There's and that's bunch. copper. And there's silver. Jeez. <laughs> like all the rare minerals. I'll go ahead and grab this copper while you're doing that. Damn, there's a lot of it. It's like a huge vein of it. Yeah, well, we've got probably more copper than we'll need for a really long time. The silver is handy to grab. All right. Let's let's see if we can get around to where that iron was without tangling with this boar. Like I say, if the boar comes at us, all we can do is just keep wailing on his little head until he goes down. All right, so this is iron right here, but this tree is going to be in our way, so I'll knock it down. Okay. It it'll fall and go right down the hill. There we go. Not much iron, but it's a start. We need 24 iron ingots to make an anvil. Ah, okay. There's actually, looks like the the vein continues kind of under your feet here. Yep. Okay, I think it's all, all right. that's it. Yeah, let's see. I have got three iron ores all. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Four. Four? Yep, it wasn't much, but at least it's some. I think we've got more tungsten over here. And we got rain. Yep. Yeah, this is more tungsten. Tungsten is hard to come by. It's one of those ones, if we find it, getting it is really important. Now, a lot of times, tungsten will lead into iron, which is another good reason to take this quick. In the game here, an important cue that we're about to be attacked is if we hear the animal sounds. A boar will start to carry on, a, a bear will make his bear noise, and that's how you know that they're going to make a play for you. Okay. But I thought there was another patch of iron I saw over here. Well, I think probably the safest thing for us to do is to circle back around, go back to that uh, um, furrow we found in the ground, because there was iron down in the bottom of it. Okay. And it's just awful dangerous to be 
Oh, here's iron right here. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's circle let's back. See any more iron? Up and, yeah, let's circle back up and around. We'll skip the copper because we've got lots and lots of copper at this point. And maybe by circling around and back, we'll. Okay, that pig is doing a threat display. He's up above us somewhere. So let's move down the. Oh, we got one down the hill and one above us too. So let's just keep right along at Not the good. level we are. Yeah, yeah, we're we're in a little bit of a dangerous spot here. There's no doubt about that. Well, so far so good. Yep. All right. Well, let's make our way down right here. There's a cave over there. I see it. And that could be just what we're looking for. Now, we've got something down there to the right. What is it? We do have a bear Great. down over there. And the cave is too steep for us to get into, so let's go up and over the top of the cave. Oh. Ooh, the bear. He, yeah, he's aware of us, but he can't get across that, so if we just keep moving, we'll be okay. Okay. So he, made his, he made his mad sound, but he couldn't get across that open face, so... If we just mountain goat our way across, we'll be okay. That's literally what we're doing. Yep. <laughs> well, that's one of the things I like about this game is we can we can cross a fairly steep incline. Now we've got aluminum up there, but we've also got some aluminum right over here, so we might as well get it. It's a pretty rich deposit of aluminum. And it's one of those things that normally we have a heck of a hard time finding. So if we can stack our aluminum now, we're golden. Yeah. Or aluminum, as the case may be. Good deal. All right. Let's That's keep it. Pushing across here. We are agile critters, no doubt about that. That's for sure. But we're. If this is the hunter. We've been sl we'd slid down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hunter, when we slide like that, the bottoms of my feet tingle, which is really kind of weird. <laughs> All right, let's uh, work our way down. We should not have to worry about hostiles down here. And uh, if you want to work on that tree off to the right, I will work on this tree here on the left. Let's both cut a tree. It's nice. It's birch. It'll show up pretty good in the grass. Okay. And then what we'll do is once we both cut a tree... Um, and picked up the pieces, we'll put down our shelters and we'll sleep through the night. Okay. And hopefully I'm not coming across all bossy and stuff. It's just, uh, you know, the voice of experience. Oops. Are you telling me I don't have any room in my inventory? Yes, you are telling me I don't have any room in my inventory. I'll get rid of that flower. I don't need it. I had picked that flower to demonstrate that we could pick flowers. And... There we go. And four. All right. Okay, I think I got it all. Yep, looks like it. All right. Well, let's come on over in this direction and back away here so we don't have to worry that we're going to fall in. Just mm -hmm. go ahead and pull your shelter up into your hot bar. All right. And we'll want to 
place it down. You place it by just holding down your right mouse button until it places. There okay. we go. And just get mount, you get your crosshairs over it so you see the little Z's and hit your hotkey and we'll sleep through the night. All right.